Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Blue Collar Consulting Group. I'm your host, Gary Roth, soldier, dad, entrepreneur-minded, uh, podcast host, all the wonderful things, 18,000 connections on LinkedIn. Absolutely love it over there. Make sure and connect if you get a chance. We are here. I'm starting a new little thing called uh, Five Minute Sales Tips, so if I seem a little rushed, there's probably a good reason. I'm going to try my best to give you some sales tips uh, in less than five minutes. A lot of these are going to be kind of geared towards my guy. So if you're the guys on my team, hello, and thank you for listening, and get back to work. All right, listen, Phil M. Jones wrote a book called Exactly What to Say, The Magic Words for Influence, and if you know me and you're on my team, then you already know that you can get this on the Army MWR Libraries app, which is where I'm reading it from now. Real quick, chapter number one, if you're in a situation and you need to start a sales or recruiting conversation, the magic word here is I'm not sure if it's for you, but. So let me read the one pager here from Phil and then we'll get into it. One of the most common reasons I hear from people as to why they fail to introduce their idea, product, or service is the fact that they are fearful of the rejection that they might receive. So this is in bold print. It was for this reason that I figured the best place to start is with a set of magic words you can use to introduce something to just about anybody at just about any point in time. And guess what, my friends? It's completely rejection free. The words in the question are, words in question are, I'm not sure if it's for you, but. Now, why does a simple structure work? Opening a statement with the words, I'm not sure if it's for you, causes the listener's subconscious brain to hear that there is no pressure here. By suggesting that they may not be interested, you are naturally increasing their intrigue. They wonder what it is, and this spike in curiosity hooks them. Side note, we used to use mystery in recruiting when I was uh, back in those days. What's more, it fires an internal driver that tells them a decision needs to be made, and the soft approach ensures this decision feels unpressured and internal. Now, the real magic, though, is delivered in the final three-letter word, which is typically avoided in conversations, and that word is but. Imagine receiving a uh, like a comment from your employer that started with the words, you know that you're a really valuable member of the team, we love, blah, 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 but then but, okay? But this is actually the opposite. The word but negates everything that was said prior. So when you say to somebody, I'm not sure if it's for you, but the little voice inside their head says, you might want to look at this. So we're at the three minute mark, check this out. Imagine you're on the phone with somebody, and for my folks, it's recently separated Army veterans. Hey, I'm not sure if it's for you, but the Army Reserve does have quite a few benefits that you may not know about. Would you be interested in you know, coming by my office and hearing a little bit more? Okay, or, you know, I'm not sure if it's for you, but we have a really amazing military intelligence unit down the hall from my office, and they're actually looking for 25 Bravos like yourself. Would you allow me to introduce you to the unit? I'm not sure if it's for you, but, you know, if you re-enlisted today, you could get a $20,000 student loan repayment. I know you don't have student loans now, but maybe you want to go to school later, or, I'm not sure if it's for you, but the student loan repayment program would allow you to transfer your GI Bill benefits to your spouse, and then you could still have $20,000 to go towards your college spending uh, in addition to your tuition assistance. I'm not sure if it's for you, but this drill sergeant unit is really looking for combat veterans like yourself, and I think that you'd be a really good fit there. Would you let me introduce you to them? I'm not sure if it's for you, but is an amazing opener on the phone, uh, even an email, uh, and then in your direct conversations, uh, face-to-face or video chat or whatever medium you're using. So I don't know if it's for you, but is a beautiful combination of low pressure and a little bit of mystery and even a nice little contradiction there at the end. So uh, if you are anywhere on social media, find me, Blue Collar Consulting Group. Just look it up. You can send me a message. I would love to know how you're going to use it. And if you're one of my guys and you heard it this far, you need to send me a text message right now on whether or not you think this is going to work for you. So this is a five-minute sales tips. My name is Gary Roth. This is the Blue Collar Consulting Group. Thanks for tuning in. I don't know if this podcast is for you, but it just might be. So I hope you tune in and subscribe. See ya.